Okay, so we're here, East Beach. Just set up everything, it's taken me a little while. I've got the fish box with me today. I'm gonna try and get some mackerel for the winter. Um, as everyone who watches this channel will hopefully already know that I don't like buying bait. I, uh, I use only bait that I catch. I only eat fish that I catch. I'll buy the odd, the odd shellfish bait, maybe. But on the whole, I don't like buying bait. Oh, I thought my seat over when I went to sit down. Okay, I'm in the kayak. That's a good start. Uh, I've not got my rudder down. I'm not gonna bother fixing that just now. Can't be bothered. Let's that there. Right, so I'm on the East Beach and this is fairly shallow and rocky, but there is a little, very, very small gully that runs just here. So I'm just going to try and nip it through this gully so that I don't have to walk out in all of this. There we go. Look at that. Oh, missed, it. missed the gully. The gully's over there. And I'm on water that's here. Nice. Okay. So yeah, welcome to today's video. We're um, East Beach. And I said that about 12 times, no idea which version of that I'm gonna put in. Probably this one. East Beach today, we're gonna to go and just do some fishing. This is really just an excuse to get out. The weather, you'll have noticed because I've been doing boat videos, the weather in East Lothian, kayak fishing, has been pretty terrible. The, uh, the days that it's been good, I've not been able to get out. And then it kind of chopped up about two weeks ago. And it was two weeks of just, you know, unpleasant, unpleasant kayaking conditions really. Um, the swell was pretty big a couple of days ago. It's kind of dropped away. The wind is due to pick up at 12. It's 10 o'clock now. So we're a bit late. But the plan for today is to go out and film a little video um, of doing some fishing. Probably catch some mackerel for the winter. I've got the fish box with me for that reason. And uh, talk about Oxwich. So I went down to the Oxwich Kayak Fishing Championships, down in Swansea, Gower, Oxwich. And I had a great time. Um, unfortunately, the Saturday was postponed because of the weather. Not so good. But yeah, once I get out to the spot today, I'm gonna to talk a little bit about my strategy, some of the, uh, some of the things that, that kind of happened while I was there. I've got some clips of the day, so I've, you know, I've got footage to show you of my kayaking. I, made a bit of a boo-boo, I think is fair to say. Made a boo and took the wrong rigs with me. Um, just a mistake, you know, I thought I had some sliding ledges and in the end, I, I had a lot of hook lengths, a lot of pattern osters and no sliding ledges because I left them all on the boat. Um, these things happen, eh? These things happen, we live and learn. So, um, I'm not gonna worry about it. I don't know how much that would have made a difference to my fishing. I did build a really rough, um, really rough sliding ledger on the water. So I had something and I did catch on it. Um, I lost a cuttlefish at the side of the boat and I caught some dogfish, but we'll talk about all that once we get out to the spot. It might be a bit windy today, so how much of this you'll hear, I don't know, but we'll, we'll try it and we'll see how we get on. It's very birdy here, which makes me think there's been some fish around. So there's loads of birds. There's cormorants, there's terns, there's guillemots. Wow, that's awesome. It's obviously been a bit of a, a fishing episode happened here not, not too long ago. Um, or they all know something that I don't. And there's about to be a lot of fish. Let's get the sounder on and I'll see you at the spot. Good morning. We're at Oxwich Bay. Safety briefing's just been called. It's uh, hopefully going to be a good day today. Um, at the Oxwich European Kite Fishing Championship. Down in Swansea. Going to have some fun. Thanks to everyone who's come and said hello. It's really nice. 
back and uh, enjoy today's video. So let's talk ox switch. Uh, and if I get a, a fish, then obviously we'll <laughs> we'll deal with that while we're while we're fishing. I'm slightly worried that I'm over these pots. Um. So ox switch, ox switch kayak fishing competition. Had a great time. Met some great people. If anyone's watching, uh, it was really nice to meet you. I know that that was a fish. I missed it. I know that some people. Um, commented that they watched the videos and, and you know it's really nice to hear that one one person I can't quite remember your name I have followed you on on the YouTube um, and I'd like to shout out your channel but I've forgotten it right now which is a bit embarrassing but Ray anyway um, Ray it was nice to meet you and Ray commented on how much you like the editing of the videos and that means a lot to me because editing is the thing that I really enjoy but it's also the thing that, that, that puts me off doing it. It's the thing that takes the longest, you know? Um, it's definitely not the, the easiest part of the, the whole adventure um, is the editing. So I really appreciate that comment. And uh, yeah, so we went down, drove down on the, on the, 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 the week, uh, met some family uh, on the way down, uh, which was quite nice. And, um, and then got to the competition. Saturday was canceled because of the weather, which is, fine you know it was the oh god hang on I've caught this bird hang on let me get off this bird I'm off the bird and let me just get clear of it um so the Saturday was cancelled because of the weather I don't have any clips of the, of the weather on the Saturday it was horrendous um my van got a leak which I've now fixed one of the bolts um, from my roof rack was uh, was dripping. It's obviously the seal had gone, so I've resealed that. Um, bit annoying, but these things happen. So yeah, no, it was good to get down. It was good to have a, a day out on the water with with some other people. Um, cut fish the Sunday. You can see the start was pretty busy. The weather was pretty terrible at the beginning. And yeah, do you know what? It was a good time. It was good to go down. So here are some clips of the the launch, and we'll. I'll rejoin and I'll talk to you about my strategy once we uh, once we paddled out a bit further. You'll know if you watch my channel that I never do my boots up. Guess what? I never did my boots up. <laughs> my feet are freezing. All right, where are all my rods? Cool. All right? Yep. Yep. Make sure I've got everything. That's what I was doing. I was like, better just double check. <laughs> Okay, so anchor's holding. There's some structure on the bottom here, so we're going to have a wee drop. Switch fishing cup, off switch fishing cup, this is safe boat cougar, over. Got these. Cougar, this is off switch fish, over. That I got in my little, my little bag. Off switch bay, this is cougar, rig. just to let you know I've just arrived in the bay, over. Ah, uh, we guessed it was you, cougar. Thank you, over. So let's... No worries. Anyone in particular you want me over? No, just bob about cougar if you will. Just, just don't waste any fuel. Well, if someone needs you, we'll call, they'll call you in, I think. Um, but you'll find that they, a majority of them will be hanging around the wreck of the boats, maybe. But we've, um, we've the area we've allowed is just past the, the wreck to the boats to the pill. Um, don't worry if they're just past the boats, but we're not allowing like quarter of a mile of stuff when it gets rough. Okay, over. I will see what I can do. Over. Thank you. Over. Okay. 
no idea what kind of weight we're going to need to hold the bottom, so let's put on a six just now, that's what I've pulled out. So we're going to use a six ounce lead, and we'll chuck on here a little bit of worm I think to start with. So I've got some worm in here. Someone, Fergal, thank you very much if you watched this video. He gave me some of his rag. I, uh, I got some white rag with me, and he gave me some, uh, some just whole rag. So I'm going to head hook this on. My rag looks pretty wrecked, it's a couple of days old. The competition got delayed because of the weather, which is a bit unfortunate. Just the nature of things, I guess. Oh, it's my paddle getting pulled in the wind. Make sure I've got a good hook visible. with ragworm for years. And the only thing I remember is they've got bloody sharp teeth. But then I was a kid when I used to fish with ragworm. I don't know if that's still true. Right, let's drop this down, see how we're doing. Let's see if we we'll hold the bottom with this. There's always going to be issue with this rod. That's me on the bottom there, so let's give it a little bit more line. Take the drag off. So one rod's out, a little mess here of bait and stuff, and we're going to put some squid maybe on the other rod. Yeah, I think on the other rod we'll put some squid, and I'll let that lie on the bottom for a, a ray. Yeah. So let's talk techniques. I had a sliding ledger on the bottom. Oh, fish on. Did I get, did I lose it? Hang on. I think I have a fish here, but I'm not sure. It feels really weird. I don't have a fish. I think I had a fish. That was odd. Okay, let's have a look at the scorecard and actually see where we're at. So the scorecard, I don't know how well that comes across on the video. So it's a Pollock for six points, a Thornbite Ray for seven, and a Bass for eight. All three gets you 21 points, 31 points, sorry. So I'm trying to go for those just now. Um, I guess I'm also trying to try for some of these one pointers and uh, maybe then start looking for the flatfish species. That was kind of my plan. Um, but yeah, it's not really going so well. I don't know, this rig isn't the right rig that I've got out just now, so I'm going to change this rig over as well. I just wanted to get fish in really, and get some line in the water. Because you know what they say, you can't catch fish without line in the water. I'm over some structure just now. I'm sitting on a little bit of like a bump. I'm just kind of waiting to see what it does really. So let's talk techniques at Oxwich. I went out with a strategy to catch the thornback ray first. In doing so, I could also have targeted the scad, I could also have targeted the bullhuss, the tope, some of the bigger species. I had enough bait on to target a, a smooth hound. Uh, maybe some of the flatfish species. I had a place rig out on one rod and I had a sliding ledger on the other. So there was, and I was alternating between a place rig and a feathers. So there was definitely an opportunity for me to pick up some other species of fish, not just the thornback ray. Although I did all the eggs in the basket for the thornback ray. Learning point, probably should have waited longer for the thornback ray. I think I moved off too early. 
I was getting plagued by dogfish. And I wonder if I moved off to early. Now I did catch some nice dogfish. You know, I, I've never really caught dogfish before. Um, you know, it was just nice to be fishing for, the, for different species. Oh, fish on. Yeah. Bear with me a moment while I just catch this fish. This is a mackerel, I reckon. It's pretty all over the shop. Oh, it's more than one mackerel, I think. No, it's just the one. What size are you? you winter bait size? Yeah, I think so. Yep, definitely winter bait size. So yeah, back to techniques. Caught some dogfish, that was quite nice. And uh, yeah, I was targeting lots of different species. So I, I was feeling quite good. Should I have moved earlier? Yes, I probably should have. I think I had to look. Should I move later? I should have waited longer. I probably should have. Was I in the right place though? I don't think I was. I think I could have been a little bit further out. So what I did was after an hour and a half of trying to target the ray, which was I think too short, I think I should have waited longer. But then I only had, you know, I had to be back on shore, so at quarter to three for a three o'clock final check-in. So, you know, um, it, it, difficult to know if I maybe didn't, you know, I moved at half 11, should I have moved at 12? Should I have moved at half 12? But then I can't move much later than that because then I'm not giving myself enough time fishing in the new location. So I did move out at, at half 11 and um, I maybe could have moved a bit later. What did I catch while I was there? Well, I was targeting all these different species and I caught some dogfish. Okay, I think I've got a fish here. If I haven't got a fish, I'm gonna be a bit sad because it definitely felt like a fish. It does feel quite heavy. May have caught my other rig, actually. <laughs> See what we've got here. It does feel like a fish. Oh yeah, it's definitely a fish. It's a dogfish. First dogfish ever on the kayak. Right. Stay so. Got them. Bloody. They're strong for their size, you know? It's a little male. Somehow I have to take a bloody picture of this. I'm not sure what's going on with my, my phone cable it's underneath my paddle. Stay there. Ugh. That's what I mean. It's got mess everywhere. Got my number on there? No, just make sure I got my number on there. Well, you can see that. Oh. Over here. Actually, that's my yeah, I think that's clear. Cool. Right, I'll get this guy unhooked and we'll get him back. First fish. Trying to bite me, bugger. I totally tangled up my rig. Well, that's good first fish. And now what I want to do is untangle this if I can. And look at where it's tangled. Now the direction it needs to go. Got my other bait ready, so good dog fish achieved. Nice. 
Get another, get another boot ready. I'm having a little move here. My other rod, while I'm trying to replace the rig on this rod. And if you've been paying attention, that's already happened once today. Assuming I put that clip in, which I probably will. My only worry is that, yeah, that's a fish. Damn it. I think that's probably a dogfish. I can't really go and check it right now. Do this. Let's get this out. And then let's see what's on this other rod. Right, let's see what's on here. Hmm, doesn't feel like very much. If I'm honest. So my problem with this line is that this keeps happening. Oh, what is, oh, no way, that was a squid. Oh, that was a giant, it was a cuttlefish or a squid. Oh man, that would have netted me a nice five points. I don't have a net to keep it in, but. Oh, let's see if we can, oh man. I don't think that'll come across on the camera. I really don't know what it is, it's just nibbling me. missing bites till the next one conversation so yeah so someone's lifeboat's training so yeah that was good that was a, a positive experience caught some fish had two rods out you know you're allowed eight hooks across two rods and I think I you know I think I basically achieved that goal Things that I could have done better, I had too much stuff with me on the kayak, and I, and I talked about that in the on the day. Uh, if those clips are, are visible, I'll put them in. Um, the conditions weren't great on the day, so a lot of my footage is wind and, and, and rain ridden. Um, I had too much stuff. You know, this kayak has a very small storage hatch in the front here. It's got this hatch here, which is for bait. Um, it's got a live bait well, but the catch on the front's broken. It, it, the, the snapped off about two weeks ago. And then behind me, which you'll be able to see, there's a big storage area and the seat. Now I'm not very comfortable reaching behind me. I don't mind, I can swing my legs around and do 180s. I can do that around the world on the, on the kayak, but I'm not 100% happy about it. So in the conditions that we had in the morning of Oxwich, I wasn't confident, so I put a lot of stuff in front of me. So I had my, my three rods sitting down here, as I always do. Can't use the rod holders while you're moving about because of safety. So I had my three rods sitting in front of me. I had a 6,000 reel on this rod, and I had my two pen slammers on my smaller rods. I didn't have the um, rod holder here. Maybe I should have, something to think about. But then with my paddling, I don't like things impacting my paddling. It's a competition where I need to move about a lot, but I'm not drifting because I was at anchor. I've never fished at anchor before. We'll come back to that. So fishing with the, 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 the rods was fine, but where did I put my bait? And I had too much bait. I, I thought I was gonna need more than I did. Um, I guess I, I don't like, and I'm the same when I fish on the shore, I don't like not being able to target the fish that I want to target. So I had a bit of squid, I had a bit of mackerel, I had some blow lug, I had some black lug, I had some peeler crab that I'd caught, that I'd foraged for myself, I had some hardback crabs that I'd foraged for myself. 
So I had these kind of had these kind of crab species, but I didn't have and I, but I had to put it all somewhere. So I had some squid in the front. I had my worm at the back of my foot down there. I had my water bottle. I had some food, which I've just discovered I still have on the kayak. So I'm going to have that in a minute. You know. I just needed these things, but because I didn't use, utilize the space behind me very well, you know, um, I had my wheels on the back as well, which takes up a bit of space. I had my mackerel baits behind me because they needed to go somewhere. I definitely took too much stuff with me, and you can see that in all the video footage. It's just, there's too many things on the kayak. There's, there's too many rigs, too many lures. You know, I, I wanted to give myself an opportunity at catching everything rather than maybe being a bit more focused in my targeting. So that's a learning point for next time. Take less stuff, be more targeted. Yeah, fish on. Yeah. Nice. Let's see, there's probably another dogfish. It's on the ragworm, right on the bottom. Here we go. It's a starfish and another dogfish. Wow. All right, let's come. as well oh god that's a good fish whatever that is I don't know if I've hooked it but come on where's this hook going you have bent my hook Dogfish, taking my baits. Yeah, just got straight into a snack. That's a bit weird. Well, starfish and a dogfish. I've snagged at the lines again. I've, had a, I've got fish on, I think. This has just been sitting out there. And I think there is. There's another dogfish. How long have you been chewing on that for? Don't bite my load. Definitely another dog fish. 
Moment. Do you know you're going to make this worse for yourself if you do this? Right. Stay there. Oh, that rod's going to go in the water. I'm about to lose a rod in the water while I'm holding. I'll try to get rid of this dog fish. Go. A little dog fish. Ah, feisty little buggers these guys are. Right. Right. Sit rep. I'm calling it a day. Um, three, four dog fish. I lost maybe a cuttlefish. Could have been a ray, but I think it was a cuttlefish on the surface. Didn't see it. It wasn't far enough, close enough to see. And yeah, that's me, I think. Um, calling it a day. Uh, I've had a good day, I think my strategy was good, but um, the, I just haven't been able to catch any fish. Um, well, maybe talk through it when I, when I get home, but uh, for now, it's going to be pack up, finish with you from Oxwich. Thank you very much for watching. Good night. So yeah, so that was kind of my day, really. So I, I you know, you, I kind of had a good day. I, I enjoyed it. I think it's definitely worth going. I will go again. I'll be down next year, guys. I really enjoyed it. I'll put it in the diary so that I'm, I've got the annual leave and things to go next year. Um, some things to learn about putting things on the kayak, space saving on the kayak, not taking so much stuff with me. Did I need my lure rod? Could I have managed with my, my Omni, uh, my Omni from, from Shakespeare, the, the first ever kayak rod that I had, which was great. I caught a couple of dogfish on it. It's good for catching place. You know, it's a good flatfish, kind of light, light lure, light small species setup. It's got a really sensitive tip. You know, it's not an amazing rod, but it, it does the job. You know, did I need my lure rod? Was it just a bit of a faff to have it? Probably. But then with Pelican bass being the species, did I need the lure rod? I would have liked to have had it. So yeah, took too much stuff out with me. Anchoring was a bit unpleasant, but on the whole, I had a great time. And I'll, if I've not rolled any of the other clips by now, I'll, um, I'll roll the rest of those clips. So that was it, Oxwich. Disaster, but a fun disaster. Um, disastrous fishing. Only caught dogfish, only caught dogfish. Disastrous weather, discovered I had a leak in my van. But I had a great time, I met some lovely people. I met a beautiful dog called Millie. Um, yeah, what a great day. And uh, well done to the organizers for, for, for arranging it. So thank you very much. And I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a like and subscribe. And um, depending on what happens with the rest of this video, I might put some more fish in, or I might have a second video of me out on the kayak today with all the fish that I catch, all the hundreds of fish that I'm not gonna catch because the weather's rubbish and I'm in the wrong place. But you never know. So um, thanks for watching today. I hope you've enjoyed it and I will see you next time.